Hi there, Alessia here with another Webflow tip. So yesterday Webflow released the new feature of the custom CSS in the designer. So what does that mean? Let's find out. As you might know, the designer has two side panels. The one on the left reflects all your HTML elements and the one on the right reflects all your CSS properties. Now, although you can edit most of them here, there's so many more CSS properties that you can leverage. Previously, you might have added something like this, an embed with all the CSS properties that aren't native to Webflow. But now you can add all of these straight into the style panel. At the bottom, you will find a new field. And as you can see it already, it supports 90% of the available properties. You can find them all in the dropdown, and it's a great way to learn about new properties that you might not know about, like what is carrot? When I want to learn more about a CSS property, I usually head over to the MDN web docs where I can find all of the CSS properties and their explanations. So you can quickly search for what you're looking for. And here you have it, all the explanation and all the different examples, including which browser is supporting this property. And Webflow already supports a lot of experimental CSS properties. So make sure that the browser are actually supporting what you're inputting, like Ruby Align. Now, the important thing is these CSS properties work exactly like the style panel. So these are attached to your class and not the element. So let's have a look what you can add with these custom properties. You can truncate your text by using text overflow ellipsis, making sure that you have the overflow hidden and the white space no wrap. You can make sure to hyphenate those very long words. You can add clamp and calc to avoid huge and tiny text. Add text wrap balance to balance those paragraphs. Clip path to clip the image to a desired shape. You can even change the scroll bar color just with one CSS property. With all this power, I'm curious to see what you will build next. And if there is any CSS properties that you would like me to dig a little bit deeper, let me know. And as always, I hope this video was useful. Follow me for more and see you next time. Bye for now.